fetched her to his house. And she became his wife. And she got pregnant, gave him a son. All that sounds cool, right? But here it says, but this thing that David had done displeased the Lord. David, this, you've got to be kidding me. David displeased the Lord. Come on, come on, Doc. Not David. Come on, Doc. Not the one that Samuel came down to the house and looked over all them brothers and put them over there and ordered them up. Said, This is a, not David. Come on, Doc. Not that bear and lion killer. Not David. Come on, Doc. Not the dude that went out there and got on the, on the battlefield against the lion, killed him, killed his head off. Not David. Come on, David. Come on. David? Yeah. They were they sang a song. He was so bad and such a great warrior. They had a song about him. Here you go. Saul killed his thousands and David killed his ten thousands. Boy, yeah. David was the man. Come on, come on. David? This is even after David had been chased by Saul. And now David is the king. He won. Yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden, you're going to disappoint God? After all, he brought you through. Yeah. You're going to disappoint God. Come on now. Come on. I know we don't like to talk about this, especially in the church, because we want to believe we don't ever do nothing wrong. And that's what makes us so phony with the world. So instead, I split that. I let people know. Yeah, the church has a bad name in the streets. We were, we've done some stuff that was wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, when that preacher slept with your little ch- with your little girl, and he, but he went to jail, but that don't mean you gotta stop going to church. That was wrong. We should nobody should stand up behind no stuff like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You gotta admit when you do stuff wrong. Here, David has disappointed, failed God. Failed God. After he's been successful. Failed God. Come on. Come on. Isn't that funny? You know, we sometimes we'll wait right until we'll, you know, we'll forget. What happened to David? It was time for them to go to war, Will. Instead of going to the battlefield, David decided, I'm going to sit this one out. Yeah, yeah. Since I'm the king. Now, back then, now this is what happened today. Back then, the kings went to war that's right. that's with right. their troops. That's right. That's right. Wasn't no sending nobody to war. <laughs> yeah, let the president go out there. Y'all go out there with them young men and women. Right. Man, see man. how quick you are to. Send people to war when well, you got to go. Well, yes, yes. They used to come They in. went with them. That's when how David became. David killed his 10,000. He's on the battlefield with them as king. That's right, that's right. They he was still in. serving as king. That's right. But it was battlefield time, and David decided he's going to leave his sword down this time. He's going to sit this one out. He's going to stay at the home front, sip on some pina colada, and go up on the rooftop. He's going to sit it out, huh? He's going to sit it out. Now, this isn't in the Bible, Rodney, but I believe, because David's a smart man, I believe David been looking at Bathsheba a long time and knew exactly when she was going to take her back. I believe he knew what exactly she was going to do. And I believe he knew it was going to be the right time to get at her. When everybody was at war. And I believe that's why he stayed there. So he can get up on that rooftop and see the sheep all by himself today. Yeah. Him and her. That ain't in the Bible, but that's what I believe. Because he he's a planner. People might say he just, you know, got shocked under sin. No, his sin don't shock you like that. <laughs> you know. But it will, it will do. Sin knows what you want. Yes, it does. The devil ain't bringing you nothing that you ain't attracted to. Uh-huh. Come on, doctor. 
That's what if you like a certain particular thing, he gonna bring you just the way you got described in your head. Yeah. Come on now. Yes, he is. And when that one, when you you the one I've been dreaming about, that's the devil. <laughs> yes. Tell it, tell it. You need to get that well that ugly dude with the with the glasses on. Look like Urkel. <laughs> so I'm trying to go for Billy D. with I can't, I can't, I don't know who I'm. Denzel! He ain't, he's old now. <laughs> What's the new guy? Um, uh, Drake. Drake. Go with Drake. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. The, all the them dudes. Yeah. The, 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 the bills. <laughs> yeah. That's why I had to go to school. <laughs> Just look too good. You better go put some something in your head and you're not gonna make with your looks. Aaron Phillips. It's not gonna happen. Here. David, instead of being born, he's on a rooftop and he sees Bathsheba. Yes. And he sins. He said, go get her. And ask the people, who is she? Oh yeah, she's your rise wife. She's married. Now listen, David is the king, and in these days, polygamy was permitted. Right. David had many wives. Yes, he did. Yes. He's just being greedy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't have to go get another woman to him. He had all the women in the world at his disposal. Right, right, right. But he's gonna go mess with your wives, fine wives. Now that's just wrong. Paul and Uriah, just because he got a good, you know, sometimes he'll do the pneumonia. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He'll get that real pretty, pretty one, and you'll say, I don't know what she sees in him. You're not supposed to know. That's right. But I'll tell you what, he sure was loyal. All right, all right, all right. Can I say a word about loyalty? Yeah. He sure was loyal. Uriah would have never cheated on Bathsheba. Cheating what on your right, it wasn't in his spirit, what in his blood, what in his character. Right. He was a stand-up man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll prove it to you. David messed around and got Bathsheba pregnant. Come on, come on, come on. So that's how you know right. it wasn't a one-time thing. Some preachers started preaching like he just had one slip up. Oh no! <laughs> they had a rendezvous date yeah. at 3 o'clock uh -huh. at the Ritz Hotel. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 it's on a regular basis. Uh -huh. That's right, he was knocking the boots to on a regular. On a regular. On a regular. And mess around, got a pregnant. Now back in them days, with no abortions, with no clinics, yeah. with no pill that they have to feel, none of that stuff. You got pregnant, that baby coming. Is it coming, Doctor? Is it coming? Oh, I know y'all so glad you don't live in them days no more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Some of y'all are sweating. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stories out there, Andy Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Stop them. Put the seat down on the seat. I'm going to stop so you don't get out of the seat, Bill. Look at this. Kid, he's chasing the note to David. I'm pregnant. They said, uh oh. Well, we got to plan for that. We're going to bring Uriah home. Yeah. Yeah. You, Uriah, I'm going to go ahead and let Uriah sleep with his own wife for a minute for a change. Oh, Have a change of pace. Oh, sleep with your husband. Oh, Lord, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. man. He's a planner. He's a planner. Oh, oh, that was the plan. Because he's going to pass the baby oh. off as Uriah's baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby's going to come out with a whole lot like David. But he's gonna have Uriah's last name. That's what the plan was. Is that the plan? But no, see, what no Dana, no DNA. Right. But this is what I tell you. 
Uriah was so faithful, they brought Uriah home from, from battle. They've been in battle for months. Bring him home. The first thing most men don't do is get you something to eat and find your wife. Yeah. Yeah. They've been on the battlefield. That's just a natural thing to do. Not Uriah. Uriah is loyal to his troops. Yeah, right. So I'm not going in there with my wife when my brothers are on the battlefield. Right. I'm loyal to my brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same guy he was. David wasn't counting on that. He wasn't counting on that. So what I know what you do with a guy who has character. Don't you do know a guy who has character, you get him high. <laughs> That's what you do. Get him drunk. Get him talking outside his head. Don't act like I'm saying something strange. Like you ain't been drunk and high and talked out of your head before. You know, you say the craziest thing when you're drunk and high. I mean, I heard. You say the craziest thing. Somebody told me that. All right, doctor. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to break down his character because I have weakened him because he's under the illusion, under influence. You're right, that drunk. But even in his drunken state, he stayed loyal. That's why being drunk ain't no excuse for me. All them cuss words, all that stuff you said to me when you was drunk, don't tell me. I'm sorry, baby, I was drunk. No, you meant to say that. You just got the courage because you got drunk. That's it. Your character don't change you drunk and high. If you got character when you're drunk and high, you still don't have character. That's right. But if you're sorry, piece of something when you're drunk, you're going to be the same way when you're drunk and high. Yeah. Sorry like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, I still can't do it. They said, uh oh, Houston, we got a problem. We got a problem. What we gonna do here now? We got a problem. We got I couldn't entice him. Obviously, he has more character than me. Yeah. But since I am the king, I have the advantage. I guess he's just gonna have to die now. Because oh. <laughs> I'll be doggone if I'm gonna be embarrassed That's right. about my sin. Come on. Come yeah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Come on. I did. I'm going to cut up right. my sin because I can't be embarrassed. Watch yourself. Even if yeah. I got to. That's why I'm uncovering the sins of the church. Because if I don't say nothing, then I'm part of the problem. Right. Right. I ain't down with a preacher and he's all, you know, he's throwing five and ten women in the church at the same time. That's right, Doctor. We're not about trying to take from the community. Right, right. And selling snake oil. Yeah. Trying to be fine. No! <laughs> we are want to be transparent.